Hey everyone, it's me Joji, and today we're going to be opening up a pretty big item today. It is the small but mighty premium collection box. Now this thing lives up to its name. Um, it is big in the terms of mighty. Uh, and it comes with a lot of stuff. It comes with 10 booster packs. As you can see, the promo uh, pin over here on this side. A coin as well, or maybe I'm pointing at the opposite directions, but a pin and a coin plus some kind of keychain. This thing is huge, honestly. Like, it's hard to get it even in shot. Um, but yeah, 10 packs, promo, and some other goodies. But does the do the packs live up to the name of the Small But Mighty Premium Collection Box? That's what I'm going to find out today. And looking at them, there's a bunch of old stuff. So I, I don't know, unless they pack these things with really good cards, I don't know if it's gonna live up to the mighty part of its name. So here is the box. It is fairly large, as I said. It fits almost exactly in frame uh, for the camera. Uh, and as you can see, we get two Darkness of Blaze, what looks like two Rebel Clash, uh, and then going down to Burning Shadows. Uh, actually, it looks like uh, two Burning Shadows on this side, but looks like a Crimson Invasion. Um, base at Sun and Moon, base at Sun and Moon, so two base at Sun and Moons. And then a Steam Siege. There's a lot of old Sun and Moon and even an XY pack in this. I don't know if it's really worth the $50, but you do get a lot of stuff for the price. That's all I'm saying. It is worth the price for the amount of stuff you get, but I don't know if it's the stuff that you really want. I don't think anyone's going out looking for base at Sun and Moon anymore. They're mainly looking for the newer stuff from Sword and Shield. Um, I'm still surprised that they've Saram wrapped that. I don't know, maybe something with the packaging. They felt like they needed to wrap it an extra way, but let's get this thing slid out of here. All right, <laughs> some more pink packaging. Let's get this piece off. This is definitely a huge product. Is there a code on the back of this? There is, okay. We'll show this code off in a second. Let's get rid of this plastic. Get the, co the coin, the card out. All right, throw this out of there. We'll show off this in a bit and we'll look into the rest of this in a second, but Let's take a look at this promo card. Not bad of a looking card. I'm glad that they're releasing some of these cards that we missed um, here in English uh, and other languages, obviously, uh, other than Japanese. Jap the Japanese release did get these alternate arts. And there's also, we're still missing the Jirachi one, which did come out, I think, as a premium collection box at Walmart's. Uh, there's still obviously all the gold cards for Charizard, uh, Reshiram and Charizard, uh, the ADP. There's all the bunch of gold cards that we're missing, but we're still starting to get some of the alternate arts here. So nice to finally see some of these reach, uh, the U S and other countries. Let's get a sleeve for that guy right there. These baby trio. And now let's actually take a look at these products. It's going to be, all right, let's. <laughs> So it is straight up just a keychain. Um, not a keychain kind of person, so I'd probably never use this. Maybe for younger kids. Maybe this is what some of these boxes are geared towards. Kids that are just getting something for Christmas. So it's another. they weren't too picky on what to put in this box. Here's the coin. Actually a nice cool looking coin. And this pin, which I was kind of... <laughs> hoping wasn't going to be too difficult to get out. Um, we'll have to use something to pull it out here. Something, unfortunately, a bit sharp. Does it mess up the acrylic part, maybe? Good. Here it is. Nice, cute little baby trio pin there. If you're a pin collector, which I kind of am. I'm both a card, pin, and coin collector at this point for Pokemon. As I said, two Darkness Ablaze. Oh, it wasn't two Rebel Clash. It was one Rebel Clash and one Sword and Shield. Okay. Kind of hoping for two Rebel Clash. Two Burning Shadows. Not bad. A Crimson Invasion. 
So two base set Sun and Moon. And finally, a Steam Siege. I don't know why we still have Steam Siege. I think this may be the last bit of them that we'll see for quite a while. Um, I don't know if I'm still missing any from my collection. Uh, <laughs> from my sealed uh, pack collection, but I, I'm going to open it either way. I'm pretty sure Steam Siege isn't that expensive if I wanted to buy the ones I have missing. Let's show off this code for this baby trio, probably coin and card, if you're willing to play with it. It's actually a really hard card to play. I mean, if you look at it, it does only 120 damage. And then the Supreme Puff GX, I think it needs a total of what may be 16 energy on it. It's going to be almost impossible to get on there. You'll probably lose the game before you even get there, honestly. Um, so let's open up some of these packs. Starting off with the oldest. As I said, $50 is pretty high. So I don't expect a lot of collectors to get go out and buy this. I think this is more for newer players and just more of a Christmas gift, really. So if you're looking to get something for a Pokemon fan, this is a way to get them just a bunch of stuff that they won't be too um, picky about. Now, I don't remember if this has energy, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So that's why I'm not going to do any energy tricks. I just did the three to the front. Let's see here. I honestly... I'm not too excited to open Steam Siege. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's not too many good things in this one, as you can see. And I'm not collecting these for a master set or anything. So for the most part, that's pretty much just bulk completely. Maybe the reverse I'll keep, but uh, I don't know. Although, to be fair, I do wish that they would bring back those uh, double-typed Pokemon like we saw for the Volcarona. Double type Pokemon was actually pretty cool in my opinion. Just giving that option to hit either for fire or grass weakness. But yeah. In terms of sun and moon base set, um, I believe I have most of these cards other than some of the reverse ones and some of the hollow and regular rares. All right, well, at least we got the Panzer. Let's put that there. Open up another Sun and Moon base set. But yeah, as I was saying, I, this is more for newer players. I would suggest getting this for, if you're willing to spend the $50 and getting them something with a little bit more variety. Um, get them this. Instead of just like a, a Vivid Voltage booster packs or something. But if they're more to the newer stuff, I would stick with the newer Vivid Voltage, Sword and Shield, and up really. Let's see here. <laughs> We're pulling cards a little bit ahead of time here. Um, hey, we got a Dragonite Hollow. Not bad. Okay. First Hollow of the packs. Not going to sleeve it though, because it is the one I already have. Maybe we'll give that away or something. Now, I don't remember which one came first if it's Crimson Invasion or Burning Shadows. Um, I want to say Crimson Invasion came first, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was the last one for Sun and Moon before um, Ultra Prism. But we'll see. I, I probably will remember once I look at the the code. Uh, not the code. The the card's um, little icon. Um, no, this one actually did come up after Burning Shadows, I believe. Oh, well. Messed up the order of it, but either way... We're up enough Pokemon cards. Still happy about that. We got Skidoo Reverse and Camerupt. Wow, this box does not have a lot of good stuff. We're, what now, four packs in and only one Hollow. Just that Dragonite, which again, I already have. Some of the Hollows I already have for some of these older things. Maybe we'll get Charizard from here today. <laughs> I really doubt it, but Hey, you never know. It might happen. We got Sophocles, Ribombi, Venipede, Sandygast, Morlo, Craballer, Stuffle, Reverse Escape Rope, okay, starting and ending with the same card, and a Slowking. Actually, I don't even have the Slowking yet, so that's good. 
I'll put it in the pile, but I need to remember to take that out from there. I do not have that slow king. All right, another pack of Burning Shadows. Here's the code. Here is the energy. And here is the first card, which is a Tormenting Spray. We've got Weakness Policy, Tangela, Routes, Rhyhorn, Hoot Hoot, Whirlipede, who was peeking there at the end, and Shenotic. Wow. Still one hollow. Maybe the Sun and not Sun and Moon. Sword and Shield are going to be a bit better. Let's hope, really. <laughs> Imagine us getting a gold card from one of these Sword and Shield again. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll link it uh, up in the eye. We did pull a gold card recently. One of the gold cards I was looking for. And if you haven't seen, the newer gold cards are actually some shiny Pokemon. So definitely worth a watch if you have time. All right, let's see. We got Zigzagoon, Galicifer, Silicobra, Yamper, a Reverse Score Bunny, and no Hollow to start with the Sword and Shield. Hmm. Not looking too good for this box. Maybe a complete dud. And as I said, this is not really for collectors in my opinion. This is more for newer people that want variety. Let's see if we can pull something here towards the end that may be the, worth the $50 that this is worth. <laughs> or I spent on this thing. I mean, the promo is kind of cool, but not $50 is kind of cool. Let's see here. We've got Milsery, Growlithe, Train Court Reverse, Cramorant Non Hollow. Are you. Mm hmm. Okay. Getting a little mad here. This was $50. I, I I need to reiterate that. For really bad pulls. If this was a should you buy this video, this would be a hard no right now. 10 packs, nothing really good. And if you're getting this for someone that's into playing Pokemon, uh, a lot of these things are not in um, legal standing anymore. So you can't use them in actual gameplay. Talonflame Reverse. At least we're getting a card here, finally. It's a Scizor V. Okay, this thing's probably worth about like a dollar or two. Still not a lot, but still a pull nonetheless, finally. Wow. Took us till Rebel Clash to get something. Or Darkness of Blaze, I should say. Maybe we'll get another one from this Darkness of Blaze. But no, honestly, this is a really bad product. Pulls are really bad. Again, I'm telling you, this is not for collectors. This is for people that want to buy a Pokemon product with a bunch of variety. Especially people that are getting into it. Maybe they want some of the older stuff. This is something for them. But not for collectors, that is for sure. Or people trying to pull some cool stuff. Because you're not getting anything here. Look at that. Last card. Not even a hollow. This whole box gets a big fat no for me if you should buy this. It's not even a should you buy this video, <laughs> mind you. All we got today was the Scizor V from Pools. We got a Dragonite somewhere in that pile, but I'm not going to go looking for it. And of course, the promo that came with it. The Baby Cheerio. So, all in all, it's probably not worth getting for 50 bucks if you're a collector. I would say get this box if you're new to Pokemon, if you're looking to get some of the older stuff, or if you're trying to get this for a gift for someone. Just keep in mind, you're not going to get good pulls from it. Maybe you'll get lucky, maybe you'll get a better one than I did, but 1 out of 10. If you count the hollow, 2 out of 10. So guys, would you buy this $50 product for yourself or for someone else based on the polls we saw today? Or would you rather buy something from Vivid Voltage or Darkness Ablaze that may be a bit newer? Let me know down in the comments. 
But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell to get notified of more Pokemon content. And as always, stay safe and thanks for watching.